Hey, photo got, Photoshop got here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Photoshop graffiti. Like, uh, yeah. Photoshop, or er, graffiti in Photoshop. And just open a new page. And then just leave it white. And then take the text tool and make it in the middle somewhere. I'm just going to put colored, don't leave it black, and just click OK, um, have it on impact, or you don't have to, whatever one you want, I just like impact, um, sharp, like the largest size you can get it, and then go to filter, liquify, <coughs> and then make the brush size, the like appropriate size for your words, and then just like, Mess around with it. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I'm not doing a perfect. Yours is gonna want to look pretty good. For this, I'm just kind of doing a sloppy so the video can be done. And I'm not wasting your time. Whatever you want, blah. Anyways, I'm done, and then you could put OK, and then after that, you're gonna go to the background, background layer down here, and background, oops, go to background, just click it once, then go to filter, show all menus, or show all, whatever, and then choose texture, texturize, texturizer, and then I already have a set, but you wanna go up here where it says texture. It would be on like canvas or something. And make it brick. And over here you could like make a lot of bricks. You could close bricks. I usually put it about one hundred forty nine percent and you can make it like super dark or not at all. I usually put that on about sixteen. Just put the K. That's the background. You can see. And then for the background to make it red. Just go to the color, make get a good brick color, and I have it on um, hard light. Just make it big, make the brush big, pretty big. Um, crap. Okay, don't like let go when you start to paint. Don't let go of the mouse, cause that will happen, and all the others will be like that, all like different colors. So just start and don't let go until you're done. And as you might have to go over it twice so to it for it to look like a good brick color. That's kind of dark. You just leave it. Leave it that. And um, then you could just do this and copy the text tool. And then for this, the David, it's going to say David copy or whatever, if it's just going to say like untitled copy or whatever, you name it. And you want to click the date, the, the copy and drag it so it's the middle one. Like that, right there. And you want to take these off and drag it up. Drag it up. That's the middle copy. This is the normal copy. So put that where you want the, the um, graffiti to be and then the copy you want to make it black so how you do that is have your paint black and you want to hold this down don't use quick selection tool magic wand tool and just click all the letters oh my bad and click all the oh my god Click all the layers. This is making me really. Anyways, we'll have that as the copy. And then color this black. So just take your paintbrush. Hold up, I'm gonna pause it and figure out what's wrong with it. Oh, okay, sorry about that. I figured out what's wrong. Um, don't drag the copy down until you change the color of that. So 
This is the copy on top, drag it up, and then take the paintbrush or the magic wand tool and just click on all of them. And then just take the paintbrush, make sure it's black, covered in black. This will be kind of like the shadow. Do it as many times as you need to. Because it's just going to like blend in with the whatever color you had it. And then press magic wand tool deselect and it'll go away. So you have your shadow, shadowness. And now you want to drag it down to the middle. So this one could be behind it. Okay. What's wrong with me today? Pointer, and then you want to drag it down. See how it's behind it? You want to just make like a shadow. That's fine. Yours is going to be a lot better, and if you want to like make it bigger, you can do that. This is just for a short video, so thanks. Subscribe, comment. Thanks. Peace. Bye.